This everybody is jamun, and jamun is a fruit that I have reviewed in the past. I found this in the Philippines long, long ago, and I believe I actually saw this growing as a landscaping plant, and it's very often used that way because the tree that this comes from uh, is very productive, so it makes a lot of fruit and it has very dense leaves, so people like it for that. Looks pretty. This is not originally from the Philippines, though. I believe it was introduced there. It's originally from the Indian subcontinent. If you go to India, it's a fairly common thing to find at a market. And this is used for a lot of different reasons in India, which I will get to in a moment, but first I think it's it's only appropriate that we take a nice close look at it. So at a glance it does look just like a big black grape, but if you look at this side right here, which is actually the bottom of it, you can see that there's a gap. There's like this little hole at the bottom. And on the stem end you can see there's a tiny little stem where it would attach to the tree. So it does look similar to a grape at a glance, but when you get close to it you can see there is a difference, and that's what you look for when you're trying to find jamans at the market. This can be eaten just as it is, like out of hand, but it is also very popular as a juice in jams. I've seen uh, puddings and popsicles. You use it similarly to how you would use like a blackberry. I have more to say about this thing, but in case you're impatient, it's a really interesting one. It's not what you would expect. Looking at it, you expect it to taste like a grape but there is much more going on in there. And the, uh, the thing that is probably most surprising about it, before we even talk about flavor at all, is that this has astringency to it. Even when they're really dark like this, it will give you a little drying sensation in your mouth. And uh, I know a lot of people see that as like a negative, as something like, oh, well, it's not ready yet. Like a, a banana unripe will, will give you dry mouth. Uh, but no, in this case, that is something that people don't necessarily see as a bad thing. There are some fruits, um, in India especially, I've, I've seen this a few times, where the astringency is part of the experience. Another one that comes to mind is the amla which is a type of uh, philanthus fruit. So they call it a, a gooseberry there, but it's not related to European gooseberries. Those also will give you ast astringency. So you'll have like a juice made out of it, like blended with water, and it'll be like cooling and refreshing, but also give you this kind of like lip smacking, kind of like dry sensation. You don't want to have like a ton of astringency where it's like painful to drink, but a little bit is something that can be worked with to add to the experience of your fruit eating or juice drinking. So that's the first notable thing. <laughs> the second notable thing is that this has an herbal taste to it. Herbal in the sense of like, maybe a little bit like basil or oregano, that sort of taste. And it's, uh, it's like a little resiny, like black pepper without the heat. It's got like a little bit of that, that sort of taste. And then beyond that, you get into the thing that probably sounds the most appealing. It does have a berry sort of flavor. So yeah, blackberries, oregano, and dry mouth. That is what you get with jamun, and that is not necessarily a bad thing. I actually really like these, but it's something that you gotta acquire. It's something that's got like a little bit of a learning curve to it. The first time you have this, you might think there's something wrong with it if you're not used to this sort of fruit, but if you keep eating it, you're like, oh, okay. You get to like appreciate those little nuanced sort of flavors to it. In case you didn't believe me when I said it wasn't a grape, uh, there's the seed. It's pill-shaped, it's large, and there's just one of them. And you can see that guy right there. Uh, it's got cat hair on it. But otherwise, um, it is a, a seed. So that's the flavor, but there is still much more to cover here. And uh, we'll get into that in one second. First, I want to give a shout out to MiamiFruit.org for sending me this. This is not an easy thing to find in the US where I live. If you live in India, you'll be able to find this. If you live in some parts of uh, Southeast Asia, you might be able to find this. But here in the US, this is not common uh, fresh. It's not common fresh, and MiamiFruit.org does sell these fresh. So uh, if you're interested in trying these fresh, uh, check out MiamiFruit.org and MiamiFruit. Thank you. Just a quick announcement for you. If you haven't heard about it already, I'm going to be hosting tours. In November of this year, 
2022, if you're watching this from the future, I'm going to be doing a tour in Thailand. And next year in May 2023, I'm going to be doing a tour in Vietnam. These are going to be food focused tours. So we'll be going to farms, restaurants, try street food, and my favorite thing, markets. We're gonna be going to some really cool markets and hopefully find some rare fruit. This is something that I posted about in the past and when I posted it, all these tours almost immediately sold out. But since then, as we're getting closer to the date, people's plans are changing and some spots are becoming available. So if you are interested in doing this, now is the time to jump on it. Either uh, click the link below to sign up for a tour or join the waitlist. That way you'll be notified if a spot becomes available. I think it's going to be so much fun. And if this goes well, then I'll keep doing it. I'll, every year we'll go to a different country and try to find fruit there. That's gonna be like such a cool thing. So um, if you're interested, check out the links in the description below and I hope you can make it. Finding them fresh is not easy. However, if you live near an Indian supermarket, which I happen to because I live in New York City, uh, where there's a large Indian population, uh, you might be able to find frozen jamun. And uh, this is going under a different name, uh, jam. And I think that's, uh, this is a product from Bangladesh and that might be why, uh, I think that might be what they call it there. Another thing that I found at the Indian supermarket that's kind of interesting, juices and not just one kind of juice two types of juice for very different things uh and i think this kind of illustrates something interesting with the jaman is that people use it for pleasure and also for medicine this was in the juice section it's jaman juice it's uh, i think 40 percent jaman juice blended with like apples and pear juice and stuff like that this is something people just drink because they want a glass of juice this was in the medicinal section also juice uh, this i think is just 100 percent juice but it's sold as like a health tonic one interesting thing that i noticed on this packaging is that if you look at the ingredients for it right there it lists this fruit the java plum jamun whatever you want to call it as eugenia jambolana eugenia fruits are something that i've covered a lot in the past uh, suriname cherry uh, savannah cherry the patanka tuba etc however this is usually not classified as a eugenia usually when you look online this is listed as a syzygium syzygium cuminis and syzygiums are a, dif a different genus entirely uh, they are related to eugenias i think they're in the same family as eugenias but they are a different genus so they're, they're quite different looking but syzygiums would be like the water apple the rose apple uh lily pillies i've covered a lot of those too to me, it's interesting that this is listed as, you know, either of those genuses, but to me, it doesn't really look like either of them. Fun? It's juice time. So we're going to try both the medicinal juice and also the one that is sold just as a juice for pleasure. Uh, let's tr try the one for pleasure first. Yeah, you can see it's a blend. It's not completely dark. It's so this has water, jamun, pineapple, apple, grape, pear, and uh, a little bit of salt, too. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. It's different. It looks like it's going to taste like grape juice or something, but it does not taste like grape juice. I mean, it tastes like the fruit. It does have a little bit of an herbal taste to it. It has a little bit of a berry taste to it. The mixed fruit in there is... Uh, you know, not coming out as strongly as the jamun. The jamun definitely steals the show there. Uh, the astringency is... It's in there a little bit. A little bit, but not that much. And the salt that's in here, I think, is uh, black salt. Because it's got a little bit of like a sulfuric kind of taste to it. Just like hardly in there, but a little bit. Although right now, I'm not sure how much I like it, but I feel like by the time I get through with this entire carton, I'll probably want another one. So yeah, it's, it's very different, but it is good. Next, let's try the jamun juice. And I love that it comes in basically like a cough medicine kind of bottle. Like it's definitely sold as medicine. And in fact, it comes with a little 
a measuring cup like you would get with cough medicine. So let's do a shot. Ooh. So this is actually kind of thick. I think it's, I don't think it's from concentrate, but I don't think it's watered down. Uh, you're just getting like straight juice with that. So this one might be kind of intense. Ah, oh, I don't like that. Yeah, it's interesting to me that the one that's sold as medicine, even though it has the same product in it, tastes more like medicine. It's a little bit bitter. It's a little bit more herbal tasting. And it's oddly a little smoky. I don't know why. And behind those flavors is um, a fruity taste that's kind of like a grape popsicle. Very different tasting as a medicine than the one that is meant just as a juice. And I don't think that's just because of the blend. This doesn't especially taste even really like the fresh fruit. The fresh fruit, I say, is the best way to go. If you want something for the flavor or if you want something for the medicinal benefits, the fresh fruit is, is the way to do it. Probably the next up would be getting like the frozen one or like making your own juice. This one that is like intended for that purpose, I think it's fine as like a shot, like you, you can do it. It's not, it's not bad, you know, the flavor is okay, but there are some bonus flavors in there. Like maybe they ground up some of the leaves in there or something. But the one that is sold for pleasure, that one's pretty nice. So I think that's about it for the Jamin. This is something that you know I've had in the past, but I feel like in the past, I didn't really give it enough attention. There is a lot of value given to the Jamin and uh, hopefully today I was able to give a little bit more information out there about this fruit. So uh, once again, thank you to miamifruit.org for sending this to me, and thank you everybody for watching. Bye-bye now. I would like to give a big shout out to Lofty Rex and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on patreon.com. Patreon.com is basically how I can afford to go on all the adventures I do on this channel. So if you enjoy my series and you wanna help support me, check out the link in the description below. If you don't want to go on Patreon, I also have t-shirts for sale like this one here, the Durian Anatomy shirt. That is available on my website, which I also put in the description below. Thanks so much, everybody. See you next time.